in Barbados, I was in the workshop and I was making a necklace at the time. I was coiling the wire and then I put it down, went to do something else and came back. And I thought, gosh, this looks like a spaghetti, a bit of spaghetti. So I started to make it into a ring, hammer and texture the metal, solder it together. And that's how they were developed, really. My name is Disa Olsop. I was born in London and I grew up in Barbados. So I was always between the two places and they're so different that I think it had a big impact on me at a really young age. Growing up in Barbados was really exciting. Life around the sea and the beach and fishing and it was island life basically. I really love Barbados and I set up a small studio there. It was right opposite the beach, it was just ideal. But it's, it was quite difficult um, because it's a small island and so I decided to come and live in London. I suppose a lot of the colours that I use partially come from growing up in the sunshine, so lots of citrines and garnets, emeralds. Everything is designed and made in the studio. I buy the raw materials, whether it's wire or sheet, silver or gold, and then I made a few little steel tools. When you melt gold or silver, just as it's melting, you can draw with this tool so you can extend the metal, make it thinner, you can add bits or take bits away. It's a sort of free form technique. Once the piece is made, I tend not to really polish or plate anything. The metal has its own integrity, its own feeling, its own color, and I just like to leave it just to sort of let the metal speak for itself, really.